Now this morning, you may have noticed that your allergies have been bothering you lately. That's because the pollen count in our state has been climbing, but relief could be in sight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live outside our studio this morning with some ways that you can manage those sy symptoms. And when can we expect the pollen count to go down, Carolina? Good morning, Caitlin. Well, that pollen count could be coming and that relief could be coming soon as that pollen count is going to dip. So that's some good news and some bad news because we were expected to peak around Mother's Day, which is today. However, we first have to hit that peak before we can finally drop. If you've been feeling the effects of spring a little more lately, you're not alone. Chronic cough, post nasal drip, runny nose. <laughs> the pollen count in our state this past week has been sky high. The pollen collector at Waterbury Hospital keeps count of just how much pollen and mold are spreading. Anything over 1,500 is extreme. This past week, they recorded double, even more than triple that some days. Doctors tell us birch and oak trees are the culprits for this recent spike. I love summer. I deal with the allergy. Just got to take the medication. That's one way to manage the symptoms. Doctors also recommend closing your windows at home, taking over-the-counter nasal spray, and if it's so severe, call your allergist or doctor. And again, it is emphasized that you close your windows in your home. Even though the weather may be nice out, it's still not a good idea to let that pollen and all of those allergy-causing uh, pollens into your home. For now, reporting in Rocky Hill, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.